temperance. As explained by an idiot. So long ago during the late 1800s to early 1900s, there was a little problem with a thingy called alcohol. More specifically there was a problem with alcohol, tobacco, drugs, mass production, immigrants, horses. Okay what wasn't there a problem with? I'm gonna be focusing on the alcohol problem, because why not? So alcohol was a real big problem during this time, and everyone wanted it off the streets. And by everyone, I mean, the women, Christians, a few men. And Michael Jordan. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance. Are you sure about that? As a result, a group of people stepped in. These people were known as the Women's Christian Temperance Union, or WCTU for short. They caused uproar, and placed a lot of posters around because they were passionate about what they were doing. They were so passionate that they had a branch in every town, each with its own president who tried their hardest to ban the evil alcohol. Among these presidents was a woman named Carrie A. Nation. Ha, I get it. She was really big on the scene when it came to the temperance movement. She was a very controversial figure who would bring a hatchet and smash all of the alcohol in whatever bar wouldn't bend to her will. She was dubbed a radical, and not quite right in the head but this was her way of contributing to the war on booze. She was arrested multiple times for her efforts, however she was able to spread awareness about the issue. This made was the first step towards prohibition, the banning of alcohol it is because of this brave hatchet woman and her posse of the WCTU, which preferred more diplomatic means, and are still around, that alcohol is regulated nowadays in our country.